everyone. It's Tuesday. What do you want of me, Outlander? I didn't want anything. I was literally just greeting to people. Thank you, one and all, for joining me for another round of OpenMW. Yes. Uh, there was a bit of news to report on the building of the Steambox uh, 360. Now the GPU sits in a place that I am comfortable with. So, that's progress. Oh, Speaking of progress... Welcome, Outlander. Let's talk to this guy. Welcome, so Calvario. Dead? Well, perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you should be the Freen. Well, so you killed the vampire Calvario. Ahem. I will be happy to acknowledge you as Zainab Nerevarine, but it is customary for one seeking an honor from the Ashkhan to offer the Ashkhan a generous gift as a mark of respect. Because you are an outlander and do not know our customs, I will do you the great favor of naming the gift I wish to receive. A highborn Telvani bride. A pretty one, plump, with big hips, to bring me many sons. Where you will find a highborn Telvani bride? That is simple. You should visit the highborn Telvani lords and inform them that Ashkan Koshad of Lordly Zainab would do them the honor of making their daughter his bride. Surely many Telvani lords would be honored to receive such an offer. Consider carefully the many daughters offered and choose for me the finest. Take counsel with my wise woman, Sodomu. She knows my mind well in such matters. Oh, boy. <laughs> Now I have to arrange a marriage for his name. What's his face? Hello, Arthur, and hello, Jill. Uh, okay, so... Uh, council, yes. Koshad wants a Telvani bride, eh? No highborn Telvani would wed an Ashlander, but I have a plan. Go to my friend Seville uh, Imain, slave mistress of the festival slave market in Tel Arun. And tell her you need a pretty Dunmer slave to pose as a Telvani lady. Then, uh, so, uh, then Seville Main will tell you what clothes to buy. And we'll dress her like a high-born Telvani. And escort the pretty slave here, and present her to Ashkan as a high-born Telvani bride. He won't know the difference. <coughs> really? Slave mistress in Telerun. Telerun is the wizard tower there. Let me mark it on your map. Travel across country to the southeast till you reach the water. Telerun is on an island. Okay. Long swim from shore. From the uh, Dunmer stronghold in Adarian, go south. Uh, and from Sadrith Mora, Telerun is due west. Okay. Here's another landmark. Uh, Therala's ancestral tomb is on the mainland near the bay. Talarun is the second island southeast from this tomb. Oh gosh. <laughs> so, Talarun is there. So if we can get ourselves to Sadrith Mora, it's a quick enough hop and a skip. But we need to get there first. So. Scroll of Alvimsy Intervention. Hello, Shay. Hello, Sorceress. I see that TV is still kicking. <laughs> right. We're in Old Run. Old Run is okay. I can take the Mage's Guild from here. Yeah. So. Lower the volume on my headset a little bit. How have you all been doing uh, this past week? Found any interesting uh, Linuxy games going on? Did you get into anything new? Turn on, drop out, wait. <laughs> okay, so the teleporter person is over there. Hello. Take me to Sad Rithmora. And suppose we can go up. Yeah, up is okay. Cool. So from here, Teller Run is over there. Right. Okay. 
Doing good? Addicted to the Old Republic? Okay, yeah. Well, it is an MMO. It's designed to be addictive. Compelling, as the case may be. <laughs> Overlord 1 and 2, Arthurin. Alright. Yeah, no, the, the Overlord games, I think I started one of them, but I never really did anything with it, because it's just not worth it, to be honest. So, our quest is to basically liberate a slave, <laughs> dress, her, uh, dress her in some fancy clothes, and introduce her to the Ashkan. Better life than slavery, but still human trafficking. Man, the early naughties were not cool. <laughs> okay, there's a fishy there. Water walking. I suppose if I rest or wait a little while, I'll have a better chance of casting this. Yay! We walk on water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell run is that yeah, it's that tower over there. <laughs> we don't get harassed by the fishies, but we get harassed by the cliff striders. You just can't win. Cliff Racers. Cliff Striders are in, um... Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> what about you two? Will you attack me if I... Yes. Yes, they will. Okay. Well, I was gonna ask him how, how it is that they do, but, um... Dead is how they do. They only have 25 gold, too. Yeah, nope. Cliff Strider? Strider's losing on a cliff, yes. <laughs> uh, let's start that rumor. Are there many cliffs on the outskirts of, um, LA? Matter of, it's been a while since I've been there, so things may have changed, but I don't think there were. Um, okay. Tellerun, Tellerun, Tellerun. What was the name of the person? Seville Imain. Imain. This is Smith. There's something I can do for you? Steel dagger. I mean, none of your things are particularly interesting, if we're being honest. No. Nothing you can do for me today. It's a silver spear. Right. <laughs> Plot and plaster. Something? Are you the one I'm looking? No. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What we she has a very magical robe, but not the one I'm looking for. Um. Go ahead. Have that. No. Okay, so not this one. She's probably in the main tower, but whatevs. Apothecary. There's just the apothecary. Cool. Well, hello there. Hello. Ah. That looks like a slave dealer, and that looks like a pretty Dunmer slave, so. Standard, uh, something special. To possess a high-born Telvadi lady. Sweet Alma, that's Sunumu Zababat uh, in her cutting plans. <laughs> I do have the sleeve you want. A pretty Dunmer girl, but first you must get an exquisite shirt, an exquisite skirt, and exquisite shoes. To get these exquisite clothes and bring them to me. Telmora Elgon de Clothier. 
some very nice things. Okay. When you have the exquisite clothes, you can talk about the something special you're looking for. Right, so we need to find a clothes shop. Twitch is twitching? <laughs> uh, this doesn't look like the clothes shop. Is there something you need? What was the name she said? Um... E. Exquisite clothes. Um, dip, 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 dip. Tell Mora. Oh, we're in Tel Arun. Uh, where's Tel Mora? Surun Balmora. This is Kull. Haven't been to Telmora, apparently. Okay. Uh, Telmora. Telmora if Mr. is a good distance north along the coast. You could travel across country, but travel by ship to Telmora. It's cheap and reliable. Okay. Oh, so we can take the ship. Yes. <laughs> okay, so if we can take this ship, does... I don't think Teleron has a ship. At least I didn't see one coming in. And there's that one in Sadrath Mora, so we might have to go all the way back there. God damn. I hate, I hate this part of the game. I hate it. I do. I really do. <laughs> There's a shipwreck there. Oh, hello. I seem to have uh, found the docks. Average time 412 hours. <laughs> it's going to be a hell of a lot faster than that. There's no one there. Seriously? Did the NPC fall from the boat? Well, if the NPC is not here, I can't take the boat. <laughs> because, you know, 2002 video games. Right! <clears throat> Uh, then we shall wait and run across the water. Again. <laughs> it would be nice if someone called me average. In, at a video game, anyway. <laughs> I used to be slightly above average in Counter-Strike, um, Source. Before a global offensive was even a thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My character is wearing some of the heaviest bits of armor in the game and just walking on water. Like, it ain't nobody's business. <laughs> Jill, is that a mouse or a boot? <laughs> Alright, so. From here, we gotta tell Mora. Yes, Outlander, what do you want? Um, I will be back to talk to you in a moment. I need to find a clothier. The fine, fine clothier. That was a nice circle I just went in. Um. 
Oh, I see the drawing of a man. Does that mean clothes? Are you the clothier? Yes, yes you are. So, do you have the exquisite? You don't let me talk to you about the exquisites. Um, 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 I'm gonna buy them then. Common, exquisite, exquisite shirt, exquisite shoes. Exquisite skirt. <laughs> You want 275 gold for that? Really? Really? I mean, I can tell you the wind of a has. <laughs> I'm not going to sell you Umbra or the Steel Blade of Heaven. The Bracer Break. Yeah, probably. That's way too valuable. The Mountain Spirit is way too valuable. A bone weave gauntlet and a bone dancer. Oh, aren't you picky? Okay, then I'm not selling you those either. Those are worth way more. Well, you don't want anything of what I can afford to sell you, so. Not selling the belt. Mm -mm. Or the amulet. Nope. That's fine. Take the 275. Interesting. I was being stingy, but it, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> My time is precious, so make it quick. Bite me. So, back to Sadrath Mora. And then we meander about in the water once more. Back to uh, Telerun. That's Telerun, isn't it? I don't remember. Yes, Telerun. <laughs> These back and forth quests. <laughs> Besides, those times you showed earlier, Linux Nuru, if a thousand hours, yeah, with a thousand hours, you could probably explore everything on the map. Like, every cell, go into every little dungeon, every mine, everything. But yeah, you'd be hard-pressed to do it in less than that. <laughs> Hold this Morrowind. It, it came out in 2002, or 2001, one of the two. Uh, I think it was 2002. Neverwinter Nights came out in 2001. Yeah. 2001 on Windows, I think. Well, the DLC came a couple of years later. Um, there was Tribunal, where you actually got to go to the mainland. To, um, the capital of Morrow in, in the mainland. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, you get to go there. Good, the clothes are perfect. Hold on to them, you'll give it to her when you've bought her. But I need a little more time to, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I know just the thing we need. Go get the bottle of Telvani Bug Musk perfume. Apothecary. Okay. It will make her irresistible. Yes, Telvani Bug Musk is actually a very useful thing to have. And conveniently, there's an apothecary here. I guess they didn't have the courage to force people to um, go back and forth a lot. Tell Vanny Buckmusk. Yes. Yeah. I'll trade you a diamond for it. Really? Oh. oh. Still giving me money back. Cool. <laughs> All right. So hopefully that was enough time for her to coach her. <laughs> Mornhold, that's the name of the it's capital in the mainland, important. yeah. You go to Mornhold, and then you find out why the Dark Brotherhood is after you. I mean, it should be pretty obvious. Um, 1200? 1100? Well, since I like you, I'll take 1100. Thank you for your custom. Come back soon. Now here's the key. Da -da 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 -da. Should speak to her. Give her the presents, the exquisite clothes, and the Telvani bug musk. And explain to her that she is to follow you back to Zainab camp. To 
Meet her, uh, meet her future husband. Yes. Okay. A little anxious about marrying an Ashlander, even an Ashlander chief, but anything is better than being a slave. Okay. I am very tough and smart, and I'm determined to make the best of my chances. Said you wanted to give me something, some presents. Yes. Tell honey, bug musk, shirt, skirt, and shoes. Cool. Yes. And travel together we shall. Question. <laughs> if I do... The... Where's the... If I do this, will she get teleported as well? She is not. <laughs> okay. Well, so much for that then. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're walking. <laughs> uh, where do I need to go? There. So, to the northwest. Alright. <clears throat> Keep up, lady. We have a bit of a trek ahead of us. Apparently teleporting doesn't bring the uh, NPCs along. I don't know. Honestly, I always hated the um, escort quests. So... I have no idea if that's a thing with just open Morrowind or if the original game did it too. I suppose you're gonna have to go for a swim, huh? Tell you what, just follow me and ignore the fishies. Are you following? You better be following. Okay, she ignored the fishies. That's good. Cool. Let's save here. Because something tells me she's going to die. There's a fire. I can see the fire all the way from here. And there's the thing that sh um, the wise woman was talking about, the um, Dunmer Stronghold. Indenarian? I think it was the name she used. Yeah. yeah, keep ignoring the fishies. Yes, very good. Very good indeed. So, this way. Friggin' Twitch app is borked. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That, that, that. That's been my experience with the Twitch app whenever I've tried to use it. It never works properly. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> Let's not. They're probably going to try to attack us, and I don't want to risk killing you. Right. We keep going. It's up uh, this way. Can't log in on the web, and can't change email in the app. Well, this is probably the time that you need to follow the... I forgot my password. Link. And then talk to, um, support. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I've been tinkering with the... Let's see. I've been tinkering with the, um, Steambox 360. I'm just making sure everything is lined up. <laughs> You can still watch it live, you don't need to be locked in to watch us live. But that that's absolutely fine. Uh, where was I going? There. Okay. <laughs> There's this 
just the one lady over there. I don't know you. What do you want? She's a witch. Um, have you noticed all the proclamations? If you kill yourself trying to complete a job that's too difficult for you, it's nobody's fault but your own. No. <laughs> Morrowin lore, trade, she's a witch, bound myself by oath and deed to the service of a Daedra lord, yes. We know what witches are. And Soul's time, yeah. Speak cool. Traveler. Cool, cool. Where am I going? That way, that way. The camp should be up ahead somewhere. <laughs> Please don't cross in front of me while I'm swinging my sword. Please, oh please. Also, you know what? Don't even bother fighting. Just stay back. That that that'll be easier for the both of us. Hmm? Right, where's the camp? There, there. I suppose we could have followed the road, but heh, who needs roads? <laughs> of like 14 games I never finished because they had an escort quest. Yep. I think the most egregious example for me was um, that island. I don't know if they fixed it in like the revamped edition, whatever they call it. But the original one was horrible when it came to um, escort quests. Okay, let's introduce you to your future husband. Yes, yes, Sarah. Um, we're here safely. And this fine man, easy to be bridegroom? He is very distinguished looking. A bit severe, perhaps. But the lines on his face there show that he likes to smile. Oh, Sarah, I think I will be very happy. That, that's good. Uh, it doesn't make me any more comfortable with this particular quest, but hey, we gotta do it. Yes. Very pleased with your gift, though. Uh, she is not so generous in the hips as I would like. Really? Really? <laughs> I promise to make her a happy bride. And to do her honor as a highborn Telvanni lady. Sure. And as I have said, I now name you Zainab Nerevereen, war leader of the Zainab and protector of all people. <sighs> I feel so dirty. Um, must also give you the Zainab Thong. Yep. The Zainab Thong. Uh, an enchanted heirloom of the tribe, which shall be assigned to all Dunmer that the Zainab have named you Nerevereen. Okay. Oh, it's an amulet. Okay. I mean, some people wear thongs around their neck. <laughs> Who am I to judge? Anywho, uh, the... what's up next? Up next, we need to go... to the high music camp. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> Honor is just how she do. Okay, so, counsel. Uh, you do not need my counsel, but I will give you words of my dream. When the Nerevereen goes to Rad Mountain to face Degathur, he carries the hearts of his kin with him. Whose hearts? Whose kin? Who knows? Who knows who speaks in my dreams? Cool. Let's see. How about restore strength? I would like restore strength. Rapid regenerate. Eh, that's a nice spell, actually. Um, hmm. Fortify willpower and luck. Detect enchantment. Enchantment! Enchantment! Anywho, uh... <laughs> If it was Restore Strength, I would buy that very quickly, but she does not have it. And her potions aren't terribly great either. Cool. To the Aya Musa camp. About that way. Cool. Lots of walking to Sam around. <laughs> 
But yeah, all that um, time fiddling. Was that an Orion? Yes, it was. <laughs> Admittedly, it's her own fault. She's playing um, Free Cell. Yeah, that's Free Cell. Uh, so yeah, no, that that's on her. Eh, yes. But yeah, all that fiddling with the um, steam box is making me want to play with it. I'm half tempted to just um, pull out the old TFX power supply and plug it in, even if it's outside the case, and just fire it up to see how it goes. Uh, but at the same time, I kind of want to want, uh, kind of want to wait for the um, dang it, the power supply, the um, nano power supply. Uh, yes, that way. Oh yes, I was already uh, by that tent. I killed a couple of people there. Yes, there are the bodies still. <laughs> And this may be an old game, but it still looks nice. As I'm walking, like, these places, it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been way too long since I played it. Way too long. Oh, is that Telbranora? I think so. It's got, like, the Imperial uh, castle design mixed in with the Telvani um, plant building style that they have. It, they're literally plants. They just overgrow the, uh, the mushrooms and the trees. And then they carve out the insides. Oh, no, it's Telvos, not Telbranora. There you go. That's the way in. Cool. Southern Tower. There's... There's no one under ramparts, apparently. I mean... The construction here is a little bit off. But I guess bringing the, uh, the plants up from the ground kind of distorted the terrain a little bit. And there's a Telvani guard up on the tower. Okay, so... There is someone under ramparts. Uh, right. That's the way we're going. Smack. Kaguti? <laughs> Tell funny guard uh, walking against the wall. And where's that camp? Ah, there it is. I see it. All the way down there. Is it you? Oh, you are slow. Oh. Yes, that's the sound he made. <laughs> A shulk! Come here, shulk! Ow. <laughs> shulk fire bad. Alright. Another Kaguti. Hopefully we'll get into a fight that's... Um, worth it and not completely impossible <laughs> ooh they have a pack guar how nice okay let's go and talk to the wise woman basically look for the yurt that has the thing out in front what do you want of me outlander Lenabi, Asama, Ashkan. Um, none of the yurts have a rug out front. Alright. At least it was properly enabled. Have you given courtesy first to my Gulakan? No, have you no manners? Do what you should before I will speak with you. Alright. I'll go talk to your Gula Khan. Who's your Gula Khan? Are you the Gula Khan? You look fightery. Um. 
hunter and initiate. Right, not the Gulacon. Hello. Stranger, I believe you are the one I have seen in my dreams and visions. The past seven nights I have had dreams of a white guar. I know this to be an animal sent by the gods to help my tribe. We have been suffering greatly from disease and none of my magic will cure the ailment. Find this white guar for us. Let it lead you to a new hope. My people. Alright, I knew you were the one. Go now, I am certain this animal will, appear, will appear to you. In my vision, I saw it where the path was forked. Where the rocks grow from the earth like fingers on a hand. It must be found. Please, join yes, Outlander, how do you do? Where the path forks. Where the I rocks grow like fingers on a hand. That's not a hell of a lot to go on. Like, at all? <laughs> I'm just trying to find the road, I guess. And then we'll follow the road until the path forks and rocks grow like fingers from the hand. I guess that is the road? Maybe? Who knows? A shulk! Another shulk! Okay, this is the road. Does this count as a path forking? I guess not, that's just a mine. A quama mine. Right. Oh, well, there's someone on the road that doesn't look like a white guar, but yeah, there's someone there. Stranger, yes, you. Please, can you help me? I've been attacked by a couple of bastard Ashlanders who robbed me and left me for dead. I know them anywhere. They look like... kind of like normal dark elves, but wild. They wore animal skins and had tattoos. And they had odd hair. Should be easy to spot, friend. It's no surprise that they robbed me. Yes, the bastard Enwaz nearly killed me. And they took my entire shipment of guar hides. I, I think I see where this is going. Uh, it's easy to tell they're mine. They have my damn mark on them. Look, if you can help me get those hides back, kill the fetchers who stole them. I promise you an excellent reward, although I have nothing left since I was attacked. My friend Berwin and Telmora will be most generous, I promise you. What do you say? Sure. Get those bastard Ashlanders. Get those hides back to me. Berwin will be very generous. She has a stake in the trade after all. That's what happened, alright. Fetchers. All of them. Bastard Ashlanders. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? And where are they? Right, I will go back to check on those Ashlanders later on. Um, hmm. Right, let's see if we can find the bit where the path forks. There it is! <gasps> we found it. And there's a white guar. Hello, white guar. Lead me in my spirit quest, the White Guar. <laughs> yeah, the um, Dwemer ruins are usually th the best places in the Elder Scrolls games because of all the atmosphere and the fact that their uh, original inhabitants are long gone. The only thing that's left is the... Um, Like the spiders and the sphere centurions. No, do not worry about me. Just keep going. I can't get far enough away from it. I mean, I can, but I, I, if I do, it stops. Uh, 
Oh, we have found a corpse. The amulet of a shamanu. Cure blight disease on self. Restore five points for five seconds. Yeah. Right. Thank you, the white guar. Uh, it purrs. Uh, okay. So. The guard has led me to a cluster of rocks and trees. Here I found the corpse of a woman who looks like she was once a healer. Right. The amulet does cure blights, so... I guess. What in cinnamon toast hell is that thing? That was a guar. Specifically, the white guar. <laughs> and that's a regular guar. The tame ones, uh, the locals use them as pack animals. And when they die, they skin them for their hides. I guess technically you could do the same for um, alids and kagutis, but those two are a bit too territorial. And the guar, at least some of them are friendly enough. I mean, there was the big spirit questy white guar back there that led us to a corpse. A corpse that contained an amulet that cures blight diseases, which is exactly what the tribe needs. Video game convenience. Yes. <laughs> Alright. That's fetch quest number one. I wonder how many more we will need. I mean, after I'm done with this particular tribe, I can get started on the Great Houses. Which... Uh, I don't know. We'll see how those go. Yes, I found a white guar. Seen your journey in a vision. I know that the white guar led you, and I know who she was. In my vision, I saw you were led to the corp of Ashamanu. She was a healer many, many years ago. She gave her own life to save the lives of others. It is said that she will give her life, and again and again, so that others may live, may live through her sacrifice. You have witnessed a miracle, my child. You now hold the amulet of Ashamanu. Thank you, child. This amulet will be the salvation of my people. Take this in return. It is a shield of legend among my people. The shield of the undaunted. Use it, and you will feel the strength that return to weary limbs. Travel well, friend. Walk with virtue, Outlander. Where's the shield? It literally just restores fatigue. Ugh. And it's a light shield, too. Ugh. Right. Will she talk to me now? <laughs> Different guar. <laughs> João, welcome. Walk with virtue, Outlander. My Gulakans. Gulakans of Ayamuz are Kazui, Herder, and Initiate. Oh yeah, so the Initiate, Dutadalk, Hunter and Brother, and Yinamanu, Scout and Brother. Um, Walk with virtue, You're not. Mm, yes, Outlander. How do you do? Who did she say it was? Gulakans. Kozui, Dutadalk, and Yenamanu. Kazui, 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 hello, Kazui. What do you want? No, we have not done this thing. The ones you are looking for are Emul Ran and Casts Elabel. They are outcasts belonging to none of our tribes. You should be able to find them south of here, along the water's edge. May you bring them swift justice. Cool, so that's where the uh, things are. How about the whole Nerevarine thing? Do you come to claim the name of Nerevarine? I hope you come to do the deeds of the Nerevarine. We need the deeds, not the name. You must speak to the wise woman. We are a poor, sad tribe without an Ashkan, led by a wise woman. And we are its Gulakans. We say this with shame, for we are as weak and helpless as children. Go to her, Outlander. Tell her you will do the deeds of a hero, and save the Ayamusa. And only then will you earn the name 
Maravarine. Do to dark. Right. Speak to the wise woman. Yes. I am Uza Camp. Cool. Yenamanu. Safe place. Maravarine. Speak to the wise woman. The Blight. Red Mountain. Blight monsters. The Corpus Men. They follow the Blight Storms. Oh, apparently, they're getting attacked by the Corpus people. Cool. What do you want? Cool, cool. Oh, indeed, for they have no Ashkan. Um, Ashlanders. Soul sickness, Blight Storms, Blight sick animals. Blight monsters. Cool. Um, Nerevereen. Speak to the wise woman. Cool. Hello. I want to talk about the Nerevereen. Okay. She will speak with me now, apparently. Uh, they're not stolen. I mean, the engine is open source. But the data is very much the original data. It's an open source engine re-implementation, as it's called. Please. <laughs> so you have recovered the amulet of Azubidiamina. And you are come. You have done the tribe a great service, but perhaps you will do a greater service yet. Heard of an outlander who seeks to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies and to be named Nerevarine. I know the prophecies. I know an outlander clan friend of Urshalak who has done great deeds and claims to fulfill these prophecies. Are you that outlander? Why are you here? I want the Aya Musa. I will examine your proofs and you will tell me your story. And if I am satisfied, I will name you the Nerevarine. But there will be a price. The Aya Musa need a safe place and you can provide that safe place. Time for me to put spandex and ride a bike for two hours. All right, have fun with that, Linux Nero. Um, put some talcum powder. It chafes. In seasons past, when threatened, the Ayamusa could take shelter in the ruins of Al Daedroth. But now the priestess uh, Hirene Indevil has come and restored the Daedric Shrine, and worshippers of Sheogorath dwell there, protected by terrible sorceries and summonings. Uh, first. You will go to Old Daedroth and make it safe. Uh, is that what we're calling it now? Okay. Then you will return, and I will accompany you there. If Old Daedroth is a safe place, I will name you Nerevarine. Make it safe. You are the hero, you decide what must be done. We're not traitors to haggle over the meaning of safe. We're not warlike people. We're not strong with warriors and witch wizards. Make Old Daedroth safe for us, then I shall accompany you. Okay. Remember, if I die, you will not be the Nerevarine. Uh, okay. I forgot to ask, where's Old Daedroth? Is a shrine Sheogorath the Mad Lord? Surface ruins are on an island a great distance north as the racer flies. What the hell does that mean? Oh, God. There. Right. <clears throat> See what I mean by fetch quests? It... yeah. <laughs> I'm nowhere near the, um... Mud crab that, uh, sells things. It's around here, there somewhere. Okay, so I'm going north. North. I mean, I suppose I could follow the islands. There's less of a chance of me um, falling into the water. <laughs> or, you know, just keep going. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Alright.
so she was saying that they used to go to that shrine because it was it was like their safe space literally uh they they're not fighters they just want to live their life how the hell did they get there <laughs> i guess they take you know the island path which any sane person would have but hey i get to train an alteration <laughs> All right, I'm guessing that archway is um, the closest thing to an entrance we're gonna get. If that is an archway, now that I see it up close, it doesn't look like it so much. Oh, someone spotted me. I don't know from where, but they did. Hello. Speak, traveler. Who are you? What are you doing here? I don't know you, Outlander. What are you doing here? Are you here to worship at this foul shrine? Uh, oh, I think I remember this one. You can say that you're here to worship, you can say that you're here to loot, or you can say I'm the Nerevereen and the quest to fulfill the prophecies. If you say you're here to loot, he'll be okay and he'll let you be. If you say either of these two, he'll attack you. Well, let's tell him the truth. I'm the Nerevereen. No, you are the false incarnate, the devil of lies, and you claim to be chosen by Azura. But you cursed the tribunal, called them false gods, and turned the people against their true protectors. You are nothing but a dreamer and deceiver and mad servant of Devil Digathur, and you must be destroyed. <laughs> I hope... I hope... That, um, I didn't lose strength over that, but hey. Yep, he is a freaking ordinator. But he has potions, so I shall take his potions. And I will leave this axe on the floor there. And that, not that. This on the floor there. And I shall take his demon mace. Because he is not worthy of it. Right. Yeah, so the ordinators here basically they're They're here to kill the uh Daedric worshippers. So if you say that you're here to loot the shrine, they actually let you go. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, well then go ahead. Speaking of I got attacked by a clan fear as I rested. I was resting out in the open in the middle of Daedric Ruins. That's fair enough. Anywho, it unspawned the stupid Bone Lord. Who are you? I am the Nerevereen. Okay. Of course. Of course it drained my strength. I hate. I hate freaking bone walkers. I'm not giving you a chance this time. Who are you? I am the Nerevereen. Right. Okay. He also has a demon mace, but I already have one of those, so we can keep that one. Right. And there's just ebony um, weapons that are very, very pricey. So, you kind of want to sell them. Alright. Oh. Looks like I'm not the only one with one of those swords. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I think that uh, particular sword has run out of juice. So, now we can heal. And restore health. Y'all let me know when I can smack you for paralyzing me like that. Cool. <laughs> Considering how old the game is, yeah. I mean, back in the day, people were a little bit too um, keen on <gasps> look at all the big, expensive areas that you get to explore and like the diversity of just about everything. And uh, that it's like, oh, so the combat's a bit stilted. Eh. <laughs> I mean, this came out, what, a year after Diablo 2? Yeah, I think it was Diablo 2. The statue of Shogorath. Mm. Ooh! Oh, hello there, uh, Golden Saint. Uh, ex uh, excuse me a moment. I need to trap your soul. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Actually, let's... <laughs> really? I have trapped a soul. <laughs> let's not attack the Ordinator without it attacking us. The Shield of Wounds. Okay, it's not a particularly... Huh? That is a very, very, um, pricey sword, which I would like to take, but I seem to be carrying a little bit too much weight. A little bit. Just a bit. <laughs> Teensy tiny little bit. <laughs> How the hell do I get rid of this weight? Eh, I could make a potion. Or several, maybe. Let's see if they let us. Let's see, them and them. Dang it! Restore magicka. Fortify health. Alright. Dang it! <laughs> no. <laughs> That's still not um, enough weight to, for me to get rid of to carry that thing. I can leave the book. Uh, Sithis. There. How much is that? 12. Yeah, I can carry it now. Cool! <laughs> right, Sheogorath, I'm gonna loot your stuff. Nothing spawned. That's cool. Uh, burp, 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 burp. That one to unlock the chest. If I could cast it. There it is. And then we use one of these. To disarm the trap. The steel spark mace and the ancestor's ring. I'll take the ring. Course preparation. Already read that one. Common amulet. And visibility. Ooh. Potion of invisibility. I shall take that. <laughs> okay, that's what's. That's what triggers the. Um, thing is opening and looting from the chest. But this particular... Okay. Restore health, restore health, please. Restore health, restore health. I'm about to die. Restore health. Thank you. Ooh. That was close. That was really close. <laughs> Alright. I need to actually kill this guy, too. Because I can only rest on solid ground. Because I have to make it safe. Whatever that means. <laughs> right. Hello. 
Who are you? I am the Nero of Rain. Yeah. You die. I'll take your potion of restore health. Because apparently I'm gonna need them. Right. So... I suppose we have to explore the rest of this place. Uh, okay. You know what? I'll do that um, in between this stream and next week's stream. How's that? In the meantime, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. That's when we take that midweek break to have a look at all things Linux. With uh, a myself, a Jill, and a Ven. So, tune in. Iron Flame Cleaver and the Shield of Light. Not particularly good stuff that skeleton had. But, yeah. Tune in tomorrow for LWDW. Tune in on Thursday. To... Watch Jordan play whatever it is that he's playing. Tune in on Friday. To watch, um... Or to participate in the Friday Night FUBAR. Because it is the last... It is the last weekend... Or the last Friday of um, January. So. Yes, it will be the special Friday Night Fubar. I'm half tempted to just wait for this to be over. <laughs> no, 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 no. You do not come at me, boy. <laughs> Of course it comes at me. Seriously, leave me the hell alone. <laughs> of course. And it drains my strength. You know what? Screw this. Uh, Y'all have fun. Tune in on Saturday, of course, for the uh, Linux Gamecast Weekly. And yeah. I shall see you all next Tuesday after I've cleaned up of this particular place. Have fun. Peace. <laughs>